Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, bring you guys another tutorial video for my gun testing facility. I have already made a tutorial video, but apparently whenever you download a map off of any sort of website, um, it, the game will automatically lock it. So a lot of you guys have been trying to use my gun testing facility to test out guns of your own, and because you aren't able to edit it, you aren't able to actually put guns into it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to download the map, how to put it into your world, how to unlock it, and how to edit everything all in one video. So obviously, the first thing you're going to need to do is go in the description down below and go to this web page and click the big giant download button. Once you download it, it should just be a guntesting.zip file and it will download pretty quickly. It's extremely small. You're going to need some sort of unzipping program. I'd highly recommend 7-Zip. It's free. If I can find a download link to it, I'll also put that in the description down below. But if you just Google unzipping program, it'll, I mean, something will pop up. But anyway, uh, you're going to need to unzip it um, and put it into the maps folder of your game. You can easily access this by right clicking your unturned game from within your Steam library, going into properties, local files, and browse local files. Now you'll be brought into this kind of page and you'll need to go into maps and then drag gun testing into there. And that's where I stopped the last tutorial video. That's pretty much how you uh, how you brought it into your world. You could go in there and just edit it. That's like what I thought, but apparently now when you go in and go to edit it, it is locked. Well, for me, it's not. Okay, I don't know why, but apparently for everyone else, it's locked. I don't know, maybe it's because it was made on my profile and, you know, whenever you make a map, it might be linked to your Steam account. Uh, but anyway, it's locked. It isn't supposed to be locked. And the way that you can fix that is by creating another tiny map. So you're just going to call it um, gun or maybe my gun testing. So then click add. It should add it there. You don't need to go into it. You don't need to do anything. So from there, you're going to exit and go back into the folder now and it should have my gun testing. So from here, you're going to copy everything from within here except for the level.dat file, copying it and pasting it into my gun testing or whatever you called it. You're going to replace all the files. I mean, everything should, should check out and you can delete the previous gun testing because you don't need it anymore. You already have a copy of it and then you can rename it to gun testing so that way nothing's different and now when you go into the world it should be unlocked I mean that's how it works for dev test that's how it works for any other maps that I download um, so that way I can showcase it for the map showcase every Friday and it should be unlocked and now you're able to edit it you're able to go in there and edit the tables around so if in case you guys missed the last tutorial on how to do that you're just gonna go into the spawns items and adjust two different tables, the guns table and the magazines table. So obviously you're going to need to add some guns in the gun table. I think Dragon Fang is 133. No, it's 132. Yeah, so Dragon Fang is 132 and then you're going to need some magazines for it. So 133 is the Dragon Fang box. From here, that is all you need to do. It'll automatically start spawning them in the spawn points that I already put down. These dark gray ones are gun spawns and these light blue ones are gun magazine spawns. The gun magazines will spawn all on that table and all on this table as well. So when you've adjusted these little tables here and what spawns on them, it'll automatically update them to the spawn points and there's nothing else that you need to do. So you can just exit, well save of course before you do that. And then when you go into single player and play on the map, it should spawn those guns. And you can begin testing out the guns that you spawned without any sort of hesitation. As you can see, the dragon fang things spawn there, or the dragon fang boxes, and then some dragon fangs spawn right here. So anyway, that is how you download my gun testing map and be able to actually, like, you know, this time use it. Sorry for uh, the miscommunication before. Hopefully that solved most of your guys' problems. If you guys are still experiencing some weird issues, just comment it down below and I'll do my best to fix it. Um, but anyway, that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that first because me like Big Boom is out.